What type of Twilight Zone shit is this? Where the Soviets have basically unlimited equipment, but they've ran out of manpower. They don't know how to win wars like this. Now, how exactly are we gonna make every single nation an industrial power? You guys probably already know this because you've suggested it so many times in the past. Instant construction. That's right, we're gonna be leaving this console command on the entire game. Every factory is gonna be built instantly. And yes, that also means my fucking computer's gonna explode. This is still gonna definitely help out the big guys, but I tried to go to some of these smaller places and I've added a few building slots. That way, they're a little bit better off. Also, just to make things a little bit more exciting, I've picked five different nations at random. I actually don't even know which ones they are because I blocked their names out. And I just slid this bar all the way over. Uh, actually, most of them I went here. Uh, for one of them, I went here. So uh, that should be pretty interesting to look for. Obviously, starting off here, the US is the biggest industrial power. They have 165 factories. But by the end of this, I'm willing to bet we're going to see someone with a thousand. And honestly, it could be anyone. For one thing, it could definitely be the Soviets. Uh, this shit is just taken up every single day. That's kind of terrifying. Now, eventually here, uh, all these nations should max out, like Germany. I think they've reached their, their maximum capacity. Uh, but they will be able to get more building slots through technology, and that's only a matter of time. The first faction is formed. I really like this team. And, you know, technically there's five different members. These are, like, the three main ones. But all it would take is just to have one of them with some of those huge bonuses. Who knows? Maybe maybe they'll have the best game ever. Damn, this is, this is getting crazy. Just a year into it, and the U.S. have 304 factories. The Soviets have... Yeah, almost 400. Okay, they'll they'll probably get to a thousand first. Yeah, I should have mentioned this. China's gonna be an absolute monster in this campaign. They always have unlimited manpower, but now they have unlimited factories and equipment. Fantastic. Japan just got their ass kicked so bad, they lost everything in two years. They fell into a civil war, and they still declared war on China for a second time. I Okay. I just want to know who's supposed to kill the dolphins now. Wait a second, ho hold up. The what the hell's going on here? Uh, Alright, they clearly still hold a grudge. Maybe this Japanese man will stay away from Pearl Harbor. This is what I expect to happen everywhere. Just about every nation should just see nothing but green. Uh, I don't think anyone's gonna be running out of stuff in this campaign. Although it is still pretty early, and most places have way more civilian factories than military factories. Uh, but that's gonna change. Once again, I guess Bulgaria's decided just to give up. That sucks, because they formed the Greater Bulgarian Faction. Would have liked to see that play out. So I can confirm something really funky is going on with the AI. I don't see why Stalin is now helping these guys who just destroyed Mao. You would think there was some sort of sexual relations between those two, but I guess not. Oh, Hungary declared war on Yugoslavia. And remember, they're once again in the Pact of Rome with Italy. So yeah, they're probably dead. And Benito's doing much better this time around. He defeated Ethiopia in a reasonable time. And uh, I, I think he'll do good here. Here we go! He sounds excited. Oh yeah, this also means Bulgaria is going to survive. Maybe they'll get some land. Possibly. Uh, I see the Soviets are trying to help out Yugoslavia. That's what I expected. Obviously that didn't take long. Italy only took one state though. Uh, the other two... Wow, that's not bad. Oh my god, this video is going to be demonetized. Bulgaria, when did you get this huge donger? It's kind of strange. Uh, Korea just joined the Axis. Uh, they are technically at war. And so did Hirohito. Apparently, he didn't notice he was getting screwed this whole time. All right, I already love this. This is exciting. Please, please have the best game ever. Now, I don't exactly know what happened. It just the Soviets declared war on Latvia. Latvia isn't a part of that faction. I'm guessing they guaranteed them. Oh, yeah, it must have been the Dutch. It was the Dutch and the French. Okay, and that pulled those two together. I like it. FDR, by the way, is kind of catching Stalin. The Soviets have kind of stagnated at 500. Uh, now the U.S. is at 423. They're, they're getting there. I am kind of confused about this. Why does Belgium have 65 factories and the Dutch only at 33? Oh, okay, something weird is happening here. Man, look at this. I don't think I've ever seen Latvia survive longer than a month against the Soviets. Obviously, they've got a lot of help over here. Ah, oh, fuck. Oh, I, I spoke way too soon. Okay. Either way, you guys put up a pretty good fight. Oh, no. I, I think I know what that means. Italy just declared war on them, causing them to join the common turn. Yep. That is exactly what happened. All right, Stalin, you're starting to dig your own grave. Okay, Stalin clearly thinks he can just do whatever he wants. I know you have almost 600 factories, but this, this is getting crazy. I mean, I love how powerful this faction is getting, but damn, this is getting ridiculous. And this is also pretty cool. I love that Romania joined this pack of Rome. Now they have a front. We might just see some crazy shit go down. Stalin with all his factories is looking like he's gonna die which means it's going to be divided up between three different factions. This is a pretty big deal, and I think it's safe to say Poland actually has the most to gain. 
we'll see, because there's also a lot of other people down here. What type of Twilight Zone shit is this? Where the Soviets have basically unlimited equipment, but they've ran out of manpower. They don't know how to win wars like this. And interestingly, Adolf, as he tends to be in the Road 56, is a little distracted. He has a massive focus tree, as well as he was already at war. He's helping the Japanese fight against China, so he'll probably stay out of this. Well, Bulgaria, you, you tried. You ended up surviving t till kind of the mid-game. You shouldn't have declared war on Greece, though. I guess you're also about to lose your dong. I can tell you from experience, it's not that bad. Oh, I didn't even think about this. Uh, two out of the three factions were democratic, so this peace deal might not be as good as I thought. Still, the Pact of Rome is looking pretty good, even though Romania is not fascist. Either way, I'm sure Italy is fine with it. Yep, the Russian Federation is here. They're not a part of any faction right now, but they've lost over 150 factories. Yeah, that that hurts. This faction map mode is disgusting, but what else is new? That's like every single video now. And I think this is definitely going to start something. Austria declared war on Switzerland, or maybe vice versa. Um, now we see which factions they go to. Wait a second, do, do I know nothing about my spirit country? They're not going to join a team, even if that means they die. Oh yeah, and I do want to mention that Romania is now obviously one of the strongest European industrial powers with over 168 factories, and it's going to get way bigger from there. Wow, that's just kind of depressing. I was right. They'd rather die than not be neutral. And out of nowhere, China now has 338 factories. I, I kind of kept an eye on this whole time. They kind of just made a massive jump. The Western Hemisphere has chosen a side. Brazil joined the Axis, and the US joined the Allies. I actually thought for a second there they might join Benny Lux. And now the Italians are gonna start some shit. Remember, Albania joined the Allies after they went Democratic, so this pulls in the Pack of Rome. It's getting crazy. Czechoslovakia, who also went fascist, decided to help out Benito, and Russia has chosen the Allies. So uh, yeah, this is all going down at once. And uh, something really horrible must have happened to Hitler. He has a bunch of planes, a bunch of ships, but no military. Okay, what the fuck? I think it's safe to say the Axis are not gonna have a good game, but uh, Romania will. They're attacking a Russian empire with only seven divisions. Also, Germany is now just finally making a comeback. Looks like they're gonna be okay. Uh, wow, if I was the Allies, I'd be pretty worried. I gotta say, I never thought I'd see this. Not from AI Romania. Also, some more good news. Uh, King Michael is back. Good. I think they should stay not aligned now. Here's a partial peace deal for the Allies. Romania took all of Russia. I can't believe that. I, I would have thought the Italians or, or someone in that faction would have taken something. I guess not. Also, lots of puppets. Yeah. Uh, or at least a couple. I honestly don't know what's more surprising. The fact that Romania is doing so well or that Italy isn't a complete failure. Germany also did pretty good in the peace deal. Uh, they didn't get Denmark. Nope, that also went to Michael. But they did get Norway and uh, most of the British Isles. I don't know why I love this so much, but I always like to see who ended up taking Australia, either Romania or the Italians, I guess. It's... It's Benito. I would honestly give up my left nut just to see Benito try to fight the emus. What the hell was that? Ma Maximalist Portugal? I, I have never heard of that before. Okay, well, Spain just took all their territory. Oh, sorry, most of it. Most of it. Uh, either way, yep, they're communist. I, I've just, I've never heard of this name before. All right, Turkey, be careful. Greece is actually doing pretty well after they took over most of Bulgarian territory. Well, it is all over for Germany, which I'm kind of okay with this. I did want to see Benny Lux take over a bit more. Yeah, this is fine. Oh, this is awesome. I've never seen this before. The Spanish Axis, actually led by Republican Spain. A little weird, but I, I like it. Yeah, Greece didn't really stand a chance. Turkey is uh, kind of reforming the Ottoman Empire, though. Yeah, not too bad. And remember, there's only two members in this faction, just Turkey and Iran. I guess that's all they need. Oh, man, that's one scary Benny Lux. Now that they've taken out Germany, they've connected their borders with Poland. Ouch. Uh, okay, yeah, China joining is kind of the final straw. The Axis is done. Uh, I don't know about Rome, though. Anyways, this is the state of the world after a few kind of minor peace deals. But, damn, the borders just continue to get uglier. I I've, I've got to stop this shit. And this is pretty bad. This is an occupation. This was a final choice that was made. A bunch of people came together in a room and thought this would be fucking best. And yes, I think I was right. My computer is not doing too well. It, it might explode. And that's the thing. Romania probably could have got to a thousand factories. They were close. Uh, they needed a couple more years, again, to get more building slots. But I got an idea. There you go. With the entire pack of Rome faction as a whole... Uh, they, they definitely reach over a thousand. 
who knows? Benelux could be even bigger than this. I think the most surprising thing here is just the countries that did so well. Italy and Romania. Incredible. I think it's safe to say they definitely got some of the bonuses. I don't know who the other three were, though. Uh, let me know in the comment section down below if you have any guesses. Probably somebody from Benelux, but I, I don't know exactly. Anyways, guys, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. And as always, big thanks to my Patreon supporters, Furry Cruise, Swiss Argo, KMT for China, Sister Fister, Jake Paul's My Daddy, Yeet God McNeckass, Maxi G, Tyler, Matthew Rembish, Caitlin Liu, Sean Spillman, Jens Love Disc, Bruce Vercation, Matthew E, William Bennett, King Solomon, Elijah Senpai, Kirby, Wyone, and Elfie C.